Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be taking a first look at Maggie who is a legacy character who has been made ascendable. Now Maggie was like this as a 5 star and she was one of the best 5 stars. I think someone will have to correct me if I'm wrong. She was a war reward a long time ago and I really wanted her because it's, she's awesome basically she was one of the very first characters to have bonus hp she did a lot of damage the command gave you a lot of utility if you wanted to use her on a first term attack team she was usable on both attack and defense and she had quite a bit of variation in which way you could use her you could use her as a damage dealer you could use her as like i said as a specialist as a command she was great so she had a lot to live up to as a six star now unfortunately she has come out as a six star in the s class era but this is what she looks like and she has 2,094 attack, 2,629 defense, and 2,244 HP. She still remains as a fast medic. Her adrenaline rush is called Bolstering Defense. It's a 76 AP cost rush, and it has 800% damage to one enemy, as well as all teammates regain up to 35% of their max HP for two turns and get 25% defense for two turns. Now, 800% damage is a lot, is a lot. Her attack stat is quite low, however, but in a way, I see this as actually not being too bad because that attack damage is so high on the rush, you could go all in on the combat mods to make more attacking if you really wanted to. I wouldn't say that's really the way to go. I would just see her attack stat as maybe a bit of a bonus, you know, that the 800%, you're not really going to do much going forward, S-Class era and all that, but she has got a nice buff. That is a nice all teammates instead of the, I think in, as the five star, it was three teammates got the buff. It was, and it was bonus HP. This is 35% of max HP, so this is 70% heal effectively to every teammate, and everybody gets 25% defense. Now, I probably would have preferred the attack buff still, you know, it was 60%. 30% was it well there was no attack buff I don't know what I was reading into so that's an addition that extra defense is an addition but 25% isn't really much to speak of generally there's going to be someone else who has a buff that overrides this but if you haven't got any defense buff then I guess it's not too bad so the rush itself not too bad it affects everybody on her team so everybody gets the buff it's going to be great in road maps world maps SR she's going to be okay in raids mainly on an attack team just because like I've said numerous times six stars can get wrecked on defense teams now her active skill is where there's a little bit of a letdown here there was a lot of potential that basically this because this character has to kind of be used on an attack team there has to be some sort of control with her active or her rush and there's none so she's just basically taking up a slot and you're probably going to have to run like a pure damage team to really get her to to get going in terms of being useful because her active skill is only just recover and pair. It is, has got an initial cooldown of two and a cooldown of two and up to three teammates recover from impair. And this is, this is kind of just okay, like average, nothing special about it. It doesn't recover anything new. It's something that isn't really meta right now. Impair isn't too much of an issue. You're seeing a lot more teams running, you know, torn, a bit of confuse here and there and they're slow silently creeping in as well impair on the other hand doesn't seem to be a thing right now but who knows who knows how things go in the future the issue here is that maggie's lifespan is short you know she is a six star her usability is not going to be forever so unless impair starts becoming an issue real soon this active skill is not going to be that useful so it all pretty much comes down to what i said before which is the specialist skill her command in terms of being able to command characters like heng yen earlier james you know these melee characters she's going to be on a melee team most of the time she could be on a mixed team with let's say priya getting priya off a turn earlier with command would be really really strong as well and i think that's going to be her main use adrenaline rush and specialist skill active skill not too useful it would have been nicer to see her adrenaline rush be like 58 ar considering she's a six star in the s class era and considering she's a command it's not really going to be that much of an issue to have it so that she doesn't have to have ap on her weapon so she can be at least a little bit more defensive and she's meant to be a fast character fast characters are meant to be faster and she's got just a 76 ar which is like the worst you want it to be for a six star even though it says normal, if it was 81 and above, basically it it's goes to the next phase of AP gain and you're going to have to have put someone command them 
or they're going to have to get hit, or there's going to have to be an 8% weapon. On a defense team, you can go up to 84. That's why you have to see all these 85 AR characters, because the most you can gain on a defense team, while you haven't got an AP leader, so as long as you've got one huge on attack AP source, be it from your weapon or from the leader, the most you can gain is 84. That's why you see Lydia teams, who's got 85 AR, if you don't attack her after the first two turns she's sitting there on 84 ar because it's 42 ap per turn so it's just not enough if they've got an 85 ar cost rush so maggie as a six star is okay i don't think she's gonna be too spectacular now i did do a prediction of this character when she was first sort of leaked way back when lockdown was a young lad <laughs> it was way back in march it was ages ago so we're looking at what eight months ago eight months ago she was leaked and this is when she's getting released and this is the character i made this like i said it was way back in march her stats don't seem to have changed since then so she was defensive then and she's going to be defensive now this is her effectively her stats without veteran rings now if we go through mine less damage but up to two enemies because i was just expanding a little bit that's what basically happens to six stars they just expand a little bit all teammates gain 25 percent bonus hp and also gain 60% attack. This is where I got the attack stat in, in my head. So they're not getting any bonus HP this time round. It is all teammates at least, but they're getting a very small defense buff. I mean, if it was 800% damage to one, all teammates get like, let's say 35% bonus HP. So only half of that heal. I prefer bonus HP over normal HP heals, if I'm honest, because then at least it's guaranteed generally that it's actually gonna be useful and it's counterable as well. So if you have bleed, you can counter it. The attack buff was just there because I mainly saw Maggie being an attack team character rather than a defense team character. But even if she was on a defense team, an attack buff would not go amiss. I did also make her 66 AP, but I think that was when it was a six star era. In, the, in like I said, in the S class era, a lot of six stars, generally speaking, will have to have 58, if I'm honest, because they have to sacrifice something on their weapon just to get a little bit extra defense, just to survive a little bit longer. A fully decked out S-Class character is pretty much hitting any six star character for two and a half to 3K on a basic attack if they're a damage dealer. The active I did was recover stun. And I think the reason I did this was because there was not really any accessible fast character that had recover stun other than Lydia and Joshua. And Joshua was not very useful. And Lydia was, still is, still a promo character. So, not accessible at all so it was still a recover but i think stun is always going to be an issue versus impair which i do not think is going to be so she did remain a command of course so the two characters are fairly similar not too far away if i'm honest there is no attached weapon on maggie so you can put whatever you want in her hands if you've got an eight percent weapon and you want to use her on an attack team great if you've got an absolute defense weapon so on and so forth so maggie is just okay i don't think she's terrible i don't think she's great she's not average she's just a little bit above average but just a little bit of above average isn't really going to cut it these days especially with the s class characters that are coming out massive hard hitters and six stars are generally speaking in a lot of trouble but it's nice to see her finally released this is the last leak that we know of for upcoming legacy characters so maybe they've got plans to switch up maybe the legacy release rate or how they're going to release legacies in the future because i don't think this way is really going to do it because who are they appealing to with this character the people who want this character are veterans who are free to play but veterans who are free to play need something to combat s class and this isn't going to do that this is more appealing to new players as a stepping stone which just is not what we're looking for if i'm honest so hopefully they're going to have a good thought on how they're going to do legacy characters in the future because i don't think it's good enough as it is it's nice for new players coming in if they do get this maggie but for me who's got this maggie i mean i might have ascend her eventually but i am in no rush at all silver medals are a big issue for me right now and she generally sit on the bench which is a big shame because i did like this character as a five star but fortunately there is five star arenas where i do get her to use her every week that is the end of my video guys do tell me what you think about maggie as a six star thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving <laughs>